Good morning, everyone. What I'm going to show you today is a solenoid valve that I installed on this tank here. And what we have is a tank that is located about, uh, oh, I don't know, 30 meters or so away from the well. So in order to control that pump with a float, an electrical float, uh, I would have to run a wire all the way down to the motor, to the pump. So instead, I installed a solenoid valve, uh, and I'm going to show it to you. And again, like always, <laughs> best of tradition after the fact. Now what we have here is this pipe, one inch pipe coming in, and they used to run to here and turn in. So what I did is I cut this 90 degree turn here to install this. So what happens here is this is a uh, solenoid valve that is always closed. So you can have water up to this point but it will not let it through until the float who is fed by this wire goes down and once it goes down you get a signal it feeds electricity to this and the water comes on now here you have two wires coming out of the solenoid valve there and it really doesn't matter which one you connect to what. And the same thing with the float with the exception of here you have three wires. So if you want your pump to come on when the float goes down on this particular model, this particular brand, you use the blue and the black. If you want the pump to kick on when the float goes up, then you use the blue and the brown. So uh, if you look at your instructions for your particular float, it'll tell you uh, what wire to use for turning on when it's up or when it's down. And then what you have here is the electrical connection and this pretty much acts like a uh, light switch. You have uh, the power coming in here and then you have the uh, common wire and what you do is you hook up one wire from the float to it so what happens is it goes to the float, comes back, goes to this wire and completes the circuit when that float goes down because that's what I opted to do is turn the water on when the float goes down and the float will go down when I use the water so this basically provides power goes up this way to the switch no power because the float has to go down so the power comes in here goes all the way to the switch comes back here and completes the circuit when it goes down that simple now here we have an aerator so what I did instead of taking this thing off drilling another hole to run the wire through and all that what I did is in the center of this thing you have a about a three four inch pipe going down so I just put it in through there and then tied it to that corner leg and it works just fine now here is the connection that I did I had a wire bringing the power for this pump so I just tucked into it. Now this is just temporary because 
I need to buy a couple of boxes, uh, a junction box here to bring the power in and then bring the power wire all the way to this to this motor here and then from the junction box bring it over to make this connection so here I'll put a junction box and here I'll put a junction box but I'll do that later I know there's a lot of things that I'll do later but I want to finalize everything before I do what I do. The other thing that I need to add is a light here uh, one of these times, but I've got so much to do, so many projects that I'll just wait till later. Now, if you watch the, uh, some of the other videos dealing with this uh, pump loosen prime, and what have you and the uh, chicken coop project I added this tank here uh, because of the pump losing its prime and I brought in water from the pump to here I had put in a mechanical pump but it didn't work because it shut off very slow now this thing here is a little pump made of plastic. I don't know what's inside, but it's plastic on the outside. It was about uh, $4. So I decided I was gonna try this thing. And let me tell you, this thing here, it brings the water in super fast and when it reaches the side of this thing it shuts it off I guess it has a little float on the inside or something I don't know but it is super fast so you have a hundred percent on a hundred percent off really super quick and now I don't have to add an electrical float I don't have to add a solenoid valve just this and it works super fast so there it is now the only problem that I have with this thing now is the OG is always looking for a cool spot digs up the sand and what have you and this is what he did He dug here in this corner and undermined all this and now and now if you look it's leaning this way so I pretty much emptied it I left uh, some in the bottom so the wind wouldn't move it and stuff but I'm gonna have to empty it pick it up put some sand back in there level it put some gravel around here or some cement or something but he's gonna have to stop digging yeah like I didn't have enough stuff to do all right thanks for watching See you next time. See you. Bye bye.